Hello, welcome to your weather for the week ahead from the Met Office. It won't be quite as stormy as the weekend, but it is going to stay very windy for much of this week. We've got low pressure systems dancing to the north of the country and high pressure kind of hanging on. And we repeat that process a number of times, even into the weekend. And there's always a lot of isobars across the chart, uh, so it is going to be pretty blustery. Let's rewind the clock and come back to the first of those weather systems. Tucked in here, some pretty warm air. So Tuesday is going to be a lot milder, but it will still be windy. We do have a yellow warning in place across northern Scotland. The wind's not as strong at the weekend, but because of the damage from the storms, there is the potential for further disruption from the winds here. A breezy day across the south, quite a cloudy day. There'll be rain at times for Northern Ireland, parts of northwest England, North Wales and the Midlands. Lots of showers across northern Scotland blown in on that gusty wind, but some sunny spells in between. And it will be mild. Obviously, the wind will temper the temperatures somewhat, but um, we're still looking at four or five degrees higher than Monday's values for most, perhaps peaking at 13, where we see some brightness across parts of the east. So a much milder day on Tuesday, but it will still be windy. By Wednesday, the high pressure is starting to dominate. A, a weak weather front is kind of toppling in. So Wednesday may feel a bit like Groundhog Day with a lot of cloud across the country and some rain at times for Northern Ireland, Northwest England, maybe Southwest Scotland as well. Uh, for the South, mostly dry. Could see some breaks in the cloud on Wednesday, a hint of sunshine, and it won't be as windy in the far northeast. Just a bit of a breeze blowing on western coasts. But again, it's going to be mild, 10, 11, maybe 12, perhaps 13 if we see some sunny spells across the south. Into Thursday, and we're kind of tucked in with some warm air in this warm sector, another area of low pressure heading to the north of Scotland. Now, this weather front is going to be pretty active later on on Thursday, getting into western Scotland and Northern Ireland during the day. A narrow band of very intense rain, and the winds will suddenly whip up as that weather front moves in. So a short spell of really gusty winds and heavy rain coming into the northwest. And eventually that'll arrive across England and Wales. But ahead of it, most of the day on Thursday, still dry, predominantly cloudy. Some brightness across the east and still at this stage quite mild. But that active weather front will swing across the country as we go through Thursday night. And notice the isobar squeezing together as it arrives. And it's also a cold front, so sweeping away the mild air that's in place for the next few days. It turns much colder through Thursday night and a much fresher feel on Friday, uh, a more wintry feel, you might say. Again, a lot of isobars on the chart, so still windy and showers coming in and turning more and more wintry through Thursday night and Friday, initially over the hills of Scotland. But the showers on Friday, even to low levels across parts of northern England, we could see some snow coming in and certainly plenty over the hills and the higher routes so with gusty winds. That could mean blizzards and potential for icy conditions as well. Temperatures could get up to 9 or 10 for a time in the south, but generally feeling colder. Temperatures dropping through the day and a significant wind chill on Friday as well. So a brief wintry blast, perhaps on Friday with that cold air in place and fairly strong winds. But then we see another warm front reintroducing milder air. And again, that balance between low pressure system to the north, high pressure to the south as we go into the weekend. So a cold spell for Friday, but it's not expected to last too long. And certainly some gusty conditions throughout this week. Keep up to date with all the very latest from the Met Office by following us right across social media.